So I wanted to look at the elbows and where they go for the press and the wall ball because they're very, very similar. In fact, a universal motor pattern. Elbows underneath the wrist. It's pretty rare to see someone try and press with their elbows pushed out. But every once in a while. So if you've got that pattern with the barbell, uh, like I said, it, it's hard to wing your arms out with the barbell or just holding that object. It's, it's difficult to do. But it's easy with the ball, right? I, I should have that same position when I'm pressing the ball. My elbows underneath. Why should I? So that I can recruit my, my pectoral muscles as well as my triceps. If I swing my arms out like this, these shut down and it, it becomes just a tricep press motion. So when I'm pressing the ball, my elbows in and down. Thus, when I wall ball, my elbows in and down as opposed to what, what people do pretty frequently. And I think it's because they catch sloppy. And you, you can do that because of the shape of the ball. It's not as heavy, but over a large quantity of reps, it's going to fatigue your, your triceps more than it should because you're not using your triceps, your pectorals, excuse me. A little side note for you guys who play jiu-jitsu too, when you collar choke, elbows down and in, right? So you can recruit the muscles of your torso, your back muscles, because you're pulling now your pecs too, as opposed to trying to collar choke like this. So, any type. It's, it's all the same stuff. Press, wall ball, collar choke. Universal motor. 